time, Chancellor Simmons, the academic guru and leading authority on school improvement, as well as the author of Playing Your A-Game. And I want to say welcome to Educate to Elevate. Okay, teachers. Okay, educators. Let's get right down to it. You see, I realize that you're stressed out, depressed out, test out, and burnt out. I realize that you're more than a teacher. Yeah, I realize you're more than a teacher. You're in the classroom being a dietitian. You're a counselor. You're a psychic. You're a travel agent. You're a mother. You're a father. You're a decorator. And you're even a preacher. I understand you're doing more than what you're paid to do. But guess what? It's not about you. Yes, that's what I said. It's not about you. Okay, I've heard the numbers. The numbers say 46% of new teachers quit within the very first five years. Yep, I understand why. But I want to speak right now to the 54%. Yeah, that's you. The one that has decided to stay in the game. The one that's decided to walk out this profession called educator. You see, right now in our country, 7,000 students are dropping out of school every single day. 1.3 million students did graduate last year, and one out of three college freshmen, only one of them will actually graduate in four to five years and then find a job in their career field. Now, those numbers are mind-boggling, but here's the question I ask myself. If we can have successful, strong, empowered teachers, how would that impact our students even more? See, this is my opinion that if we have sorry students, a lot of times we have a sorry teacher. If we have students that are constantly failing, not getting the job done, I ask myself, what is the teacher doing in the classroom? You see, here at Educate to Elevate, this podcast is designed to inject fuels of encouragement, fuels of inspiration to help you do what you do. Just the other day on Facebook, I had a dear teacher. She sent me a message on Facebook, and it, it sort of bothered me, but I had to give her my hardcore, raw, realistic advice. She says, Cantus, things are going crazy at my school. We are on alert. You can only imagine how many teachers are either leaving in the middle of the school year, retiring early in the middle of the year, stressed out, have stress-related issues, crying at work. I just found out last Friday that a coworker of mine quit. Things must change. We are overwhelmed and stressed out. Everyone is just trying to make it to the end of the school year. Now, you may have heard these same type of conversations. You may have had these, this same type of dialogue with some of your colleagues. But I want to share with you what I shared with this dear teacher. I asked her one question. What's your why? Yeah, I said, what's your why? Then I told her, I said, check this out. Let's say if I was walking down the sidewalk and to the left of me, there was a huge river. And as I was walking down the sidewalk, my cell phone fell in the river. Now, I may be tempted to jump in the river to grab my cell phone, but I will pause for a second because I will think about how valuable is that cell phone to me. Then I said, what if I was walking down the same sidewalk and my mom was with me? and my mom fell into the river and she could not swim. Now, I would have a motive or I would be motivated to now jump into the river because there was something of value that I wanted to retrieve. So now, I have a big why for jumping in the river. Teacher, educator, principal, administrator, substitute teacher, paraprofessional, caring adult, PTSA board director, Whomever you are, the question today I ask you is this. What is your why? You see, it's not about you. It's about your why. Every single day you're getting up. Every single hour you're putting in work. You stand up in front of the class teaching and, and training and depositing. And yes, I know you get tired. Yes, I know you get frustrated. But it's not about you. It's about your why. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to tune in to Educate to Elevate. 
we're gonna have a few things going on. Number one, I'm gonna be sitting here every single Wednesday bringing you fuels of inspiration, fuels of encouragement to help you do what you do. I'm also gonna bring in some other guest teachers and guest educators and guest professors and administrators to talk about some of the challenges that they went through and how they overcame those things. I'll also spend some time out in the community, out on the campuses, within the school district, talking to other educators just like yourself. And then sit down with them to find out how they bounce back from the situations that they're going through. And lastly, we're gonna have a very special Ask Cantus session. That's where you can submit your questions, regardless of what they may be, and we will answer them on this podcast. So here's what I want you to do next. Number one, I need you to subscribe to this podcast. The best way to do it is go to educate2elevate.tv. Yes, educate2elevate.tv. And once you go there, you can simply easily subscribe, going to use an iTunes, your Google Play, your Blackberry, your, your Droid, your tablet, your mobile device, your computer, whichever way is best for you to receive this information. Number two, I need you to share. Yeah, think about other teachers who are going through some of the stress and the depression and the burnout. Think about teachers who would need that injection of inspiration, that injection of empowerment. Yes, share with them that Kenton Simmons has a really cool podcast taking place every Wednesday. And the third thing I need you to do, besides subscribing and sharing, I need you to show up. Yes, I need you to show up with me here every Wednesday, however you plan on receiving this, where now you and I can help you build more students, elevate them to a new height, and at the same time, you are empowered yourself as an educator. Hey, I'm Kenton Simmons, and remember this, there's only one game in life that counts, and that's your A game. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on Wednesday.